This is only an overview of Playthrough 2 and Borderlands. If you wish to see a full walkthrough, go watch my Let's Play of Playthrough 1. My teammates in these videos will not accept any random friend requests. Send a PM to their YouTube account if you wish to be their friend. The recording is done for these videos, so please do not ask if you can be in any of them. Welcome back for more Borderlands Playthrough 2 Overview! Mwaha! Anyways, we're going to start off here with a grand explosion. As we get to see this scythed, this skithed... Well, I still don't know what it is. Uh, in the uh, Doll Headlands. Finally, we're heading there. And as you can see, I was killed, but dropped myself back somehow, or something. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that my car exploded after I hit two of them. <laughs> um, and uh, after here, I threw a couple of breakers, and as we drove around here, there was an outrider. We did. We were both in one car there, and we didn't have another car, so I mean, we just wanted to go grab this breaker and see how far we could go. And uh, shortly after killing that mammoth scythed and me turning around, if you heard that sound effect, it meant my colleague, Obliterator, was run over by the outrider, leaving me stranded up top. Uh, just slim pickings. Uh, yeah, left me up top being picked off by him. Uh, so I decided to sit up here and wait for Obliterator to bring a car over. And uh, that's basically all I did. I just took pot shots at that Outrider until he showed up. I shot at him a couple times thinking he was an enemy. <laughs> and I got in the car. And we ran off. Uh, and then uh, he got trapped and we killed him. Anyways, uh, this is a fail in communication or something. I can't remember exactly what because this was recorded a while back. But for some reason, Obliterator decided to run me over. Where did he learn how to drive? I got angry, I started to pummel, and then the car exploded, killing him and almost killing me. So I decided to go and revive him. Well, this was a bad idea, since we were still in the middle of the Mad Mel patrol killing mission, and we had to run somewhere, we had to go try to run back for another car while being run down by other cars. Yeah, not a smart move on our part. Uh, so I basically, we basically just tried to get back, got lucky a lot of the time. And uh, yeah, it's quite humorous. <laughs> I had a little bit more luck than he did, unfortunately for him. And uh, yeah, he kept dying, whereas I kept living, and I managed to actually kill the all the cars here. And unfortunately, I didn't get to him in time to revive him, but that was okay because he was able to go and uh, revive him, uh, get a new another car, and bring it along. Uh, basically, all I did was just kill these couple guys and then got into his car when he got here, and we continued on normally. It's a good time. Well, this is going to be a very weird but good episode for a couple of reasons. Uh, first off, when we were doing the Skithen mis mission, after 15, we blew up both of our cars. And uh, so we decided to go ahead and do this uh, manually with guns. And this is actually how I recommend you do it. Either you just go in and use the guns on the cars, or just use your regular guns. Doesn't matter, just shoot them, don't run them over. That is how I recommend you do this mission, because it will be annoying if you do. Now here is a weird thing. Look at the top. Like a moth to a flame. That is Mothrak's mission, and we just picked it up for somehow, I'm not exactly sure, but we just picked it up at the Arid Badlands uh, Bounty Board, the Firestone Bounty Board. I have no idea how we did it, but we did it, and we started doing the mission. Um. Anyways, there's Mothrak, and uh, this is how I recommend you actually do this mission. I showed a couple uh, a strategy in the Let's Play about it, but uh, basically what you do is clear out the top area here of all the skags you can, and lock on to Mothrak with a machine gun car. Then you just uh, rod run around dodging, just stay locked on to him, just move around dodging his shots, uh, sometimes he'll fly away and you'll lose your contact with him. Just uh, repeat the process. Just relock onto him. Just stay on him. Uh, so you could do this for a while and take him out. It took us a long time to take this guy out. 
because uh, he's two levels above us, actually. Uh, see, he's level 45, and we're at 43. But uh, we actually found a better way to do it. Uh, um, we climb the uh, Pisswash Gully ramp, lock onto him from here, and we're actually able to use both the guns to kill him. Because we're on an angle now, the front gun is actually able to reach his height and actually shoot him. So uh, this is how we did the did it the rest of the time. Basically, just came over here. Uh, we sort of pissed him off, and then he came at us. Back down the ramp slowly. Take out some skags, and then by running him over, and he's flying over us, still locked on. You can still see the red arrow, and we're just shooting him. Uh, or I was at this point. Uh, after a while, we began to figure. Uh, he obliterator joined me, and he was right beside me shooting just like this. Uh, we quickly realized that this is futile and we are completely missing and have no chance of hitting him, so I decided to jump out of the car and staying on the edge, grab my sniper rifle, and shoot him to piss him off. So I take a couple of pot shots and he, uh, as soon as he jumped like that, I grabbed, jumped back into my car, we locked onto him, and we started shooting him again. Uh, yes, so we just backed down, started dodging, pulled the same thing. And eventually, uh, unfortunately I didn't get to see it, but we killed him. This took over about, this took over 20 minutes for us to do. So it took a long, long time. And I celebrated by going over the gully, and so did Obliterator, and we both decided to crash into the rock. Where did we learn how to drive? And again, where did I learn how to drive? Because somehow, my car is freaking floating in mid-air. Seriously! How does this happen? It's floating! See? I'm underneath the freaking car! It's floating! Yeah. Well, this is Mish. This episode is full of fun things. Not only do we kill Mothrak early, but we get to kill the Guardians! So, walking into here, uh, Obliterator healed me with his healing bullets of health. He is a medic. Because that's how all medics should work. They should all have guns which shoot healing bullets. Anyways, yeah, this is just to show you the introduction to the Guardians. Uh, yeah. Same deal. They're all... All shields, no health. I think one of them has fallen or something. I don't know. I can't remember exactly how this battle went. Yeah, it's not that bad. The Guardian Spectre is the bigger one, the harder one to kill, while the uh, Guardian Wraith are the smaller ones. As you can see, we killed the Wraith, uh, the Gar the Spectre first, and it started saying shaking and all that stuff. Uh, so we killed those three, and uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but a fourth one appeared for us. We walked forward a bit, and uh, the, another Guardian Wraith showed up. I could have sworn that we killed all three of them, and there was only three. Maybe they added another one to play through too, but I have no idea. Anyways, we just took him out, and we continued on our merry little way. And that was all of them. So, moving right along even further, we get to get another boss battle! We are gonna fight Skagzilla! See, I told you this was gonna be a good episode. Lots of boss fights. Anyways, right off the bat, yep, yeah, lots of pot shots, lots of damage. And uh, we continue on and basically pull the same deal. Thankfully, he pulled light to uh, attack long range against us for some reason, and we actually got a lot of good opportunities for a lot of mouth crits, mouth criticals. Uh, at least I think it was. I can't recall if it was this battle or a later one I did. Well, still, him shooting that early is a pretty good indication that it was he was going to shoot a lot like that. Yep. So once again, this is how I'm going to end off this video, I think. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how much time we have left after this. Yeah, as you can see, we're basically both on either side of him. And, uh, oh, there he goes, he's shooting long range again. Except I'm on the wrong side. 
trying to get around him, and I didn't even get one single critical, and neither did Obliterator. Oh well. Oh yeah, looking at the amount of time that's left, I don't think we're going to be able to fit anything else in, so this is going to be the last thing on this episode. Um, next time, I think we're going to go after Mad Mel and reach New Haven and do some crap there. Yeah. So I will leave with this battle, and I shall see you all next time. Sweet! Wasn't expecting that.